Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Josh is funded and uh, I'm your instructor for this particular training, Deep Learning Using the TensorFlow. And uh, I have a more than eight year experience in this particular field on the machine learning and the deep learning part. Okay. So, okay, means all of you have a little bit uh, the knowledge about the all, all over the machine learning and predictive analytics, modeling and all over the path. Okay, great. So it will be help us to understand the all over the concepts of it. Okay. So the basically like uh, the deep learning is one of the part of the machine learning. Okay. And you can also say it is the extension of artificial neural network. Okay. And uh, during this all over the path will be to talk about the artificial neural network, the different deep learning algorithms like convolutional neural network long short term memory and uh, LSTM, recurrent neural network and many more and some platform also like uh, TensorFlow and all. We'll be start the training. Let me uh, go with the content of this particular part. So yeah, here you can see the training on the deep learning using the TensorFlow. So first we'll be understanding what is the deep learning, what is all about that why we are talking about the deep learning if we have already some machine learning algorithms like uh, linear regression, logistic regression, support vector machine, deep, uh, then after uh, like decision tree and all like uh, then after why we are talking about the deep learning if you have some already the two minutes difference uh, algorithms. Okay, so we'll be understand, understand this all over the patterns, how does the uh, deep learning algorithms work and uh, their applications, real time applications all over the path. Now, to implement this particular part, we'll be use a TensorFlow. So, we'll start from, then after we'll be talk about the TensorFlow, how to start the TensorFlow, whatever the different commands of it, how to use this particular part. Okay. And after that, we'll get us, uh, we'll talk about this on machine learning part. And, uh, like in the machine learning, we'll be talk about that, some of the basic algorithms, like a linear regression, logistic regression. Okay. And also, we'll be talk about that, some little bit, uh, uh, basic artificial neural network, how to design that using the TensorFlow library. And we'll also work on the, you know, some real-time projects, okay. Master deep, uh, deep network or the deep neural network. Then after we'll be, uh, use, we'll be talk about the different max pooling and all over the different parts of the filters, how to use the filters, what is the difference between the machine learning or the deep learning. What about when we talk about the artificial neural network, then what is the difference between the artificial neural network and the deep neural network? Either deep neural network is just an extension of artificial neural network. So we'll be understand all over the basic things. If the participants don't have much more idea about in this particular field, they also can be we can be also go with that particular part. You should also have a basic understanding of all of the statistics and the parts. Then it is a little bit of mathematics also. So it's very easy to understand and to implement this particular uh, thing. Okay, so if you have, uh, if you are very beginner for the TensorFlow library, the TensorFlow part, then no issue that because we'll start from the very crash and the beginning and uh, we'll, uh, in the starting we'll be designed the very basic, basic algorithm and then after we'll be move on the convolutional, recurrent, LSTM and many more the different algorithms and also the different projects. Okay, like in the CNN and nowadays the CNN like the conventional network is very famous for image classifications. So will we uh, solve this kind of the problem statement solve? Okay, uh, like uh, using the image classifications like uh, using the CNN model, conventional model, emotion based, uh, detect the human emotion. So will we work this kind of the data set? Okay, this kind of the projects using the deep learning algorithm. And after that, we'll also talk about the different, like a recurrent neural network that is a very famous and very useful also uh, when we talk about the time series database and also the recurrent neural network and the LSTM is very useful. So we'll be also the two different projects on using, uh, we'll first we'll be understand the how does this all over, this algorithm actually work and how it's different from the other deep neural network, other deep learning algorithm. Okay, we'll understand the different architecture of it and then after using the TensorFlow, will implement this particular part. And in that, we'll work on the, some uh, 
uh, kind of the uh, stock market price prediction, that kind of the projects, and also will be do some uh, chatbot kind of the projects using the recurrent neural network because uh, and after that we'll also work on the some uh, estimate Boltzmann and machine learning algorithm that is very famous into the regression and the classification or the filtering kind of the problem statement. So we'll understand the complete architecture of each and every algorithm and then after we'll be more on the implementation part with the some project and the, with the pro in the process will be start from the very beginning very scratch level. So there's you no know, any uh, like kind of uh, very uh, pre-request required for it but you should, you should only have a basic understanding of the machine learning part and even if you don't have the that much level of the basic understanding of the machine learning part so we'll be also cover the some machine learning algorithm in the beginning and the, you will implement using the TensorFlow part, TensorFlow books. Okay. So that is all about the, our agenda and that will be covered uh, during the, uh, the training part from the very, uh, like initially, like very crash to the uh, particular advanced level. The major and the, uh, the different thing is we'll work on the different, different projects. We'll not only like uh, if I talk about the convolutional or if I talk about the neural network or the recurrent neural network or SQL Boltzmann machine learning algorithm. So we'll be in, here I mentioned near about to the one, one uh, uh, particular projects, but will we do more than one project also and we'll share with you some uh, like hands out also so that you can be go with that and it's something you can be understand this particular part and also we'll be give the weekly project also that you can be from your home like you can also the work um, uh, work on that particular project so it will be help you to understand all of other things so we'll be do more and more projects so because if you do that uh, if we cover the process the particular training part with the practical so it will be very easy to understand it and real-time example that the data set that will be used that okay so let me uh, this is all of a part that uh, will be covered during the training part and if you have the question from your side like if you something uh, want to add or something you want to looking for that then please let me know so I will be at that particular point to be here also okay you can be uh, uh, send your query or any kind of the message if you have it on the chat box Okay, we can be discussed on that. If you want to add something, any extra points or something, if you have some proper, uh, proper agenda, like uh, if you want to work on some specific case study, so you can be also mentioned here. Will be also look on that particular part. Okay, so let me start with the very beginning of the introduction of the deep learning and the machine learning, and uh, then after we'll be talk about the um, basic architecture of the artificial neural network. Okay, uh, please let me know if you're during the session, if you have any question, any problems, then please let me know through the chat box. Okay, don't keep any doubt. If you have any question, then please let me know that. Okay, so the first thing is, what is the machine learning and uh, uh, what is the deep learning and all over the past? So the deep learning is just uh, one of the part of the machine learning or you can say is the extension of one of the machine learning algorithm. That is artificial neural network. An artificial neural network is based on human brain architecture that will be the talk about later more in the detail okay so why we uh, first thing how we can define the machine learning so machine learning is one of the way to feed human intelligence into the some particular machine or the software you can see uh, we have to talking about the intelligence feed the human intelligence into the some software of the machine but which kind of the intelligence it may be the prediction like us of, uh, like I can predict I'm intelligence, human are intelligence because one can do the prediction, human can recognize the thing, human can understand the natural languages. So we say that human is very intelligent because human have a learning process. To provide this kind of the techniques to any software or any machine, that is called, uh, known as artificial intelligence and machine learning is one of the way to implement this particular part. Okay, through the machine learning, we can implement this particular part, we can be feed human intelligence inside of any software or the machine. But the question is how? So let's compare this particular part, how human become intelligent. How we can become the intelligence? Of course, after the loss of uh, study, loss of experience, tactical experience, loss of the study, the human generally becomes uh, like intelligence into the one particular field. Same thing here also, like if you want to feed some particular kind of the human intelligence inside of any software, then we need to train our model, we need to uh, provide the loss of the training to our model so that they can be become uh, intelligent into the similar, they can be uh, perform some tasks, they can be perform some action into the similar manner 
like an uh, intelligent human perform. Obviously, like in the end, what we want to do, we want to we want some kind of a software or we want some kind of the machine which can perform similar tasks like a particular intelligence human perform or do that. But human are the naturally intelligence or human do uh, become the intelligence by the loss of the learning, loss of the study and the all over the part. Now, our task is to design some intelligence software. Then how to do we this particular part? Of course, human become the intelligence by loss of the reading. So here also, we use the loss of the data. The data is belongs to one particular application, this intelligence that we want to feed inside of the software. Then after we use the data, we see that we apply the loss of statistics for zero, and we check the patterns of the data. And then after that, we can implement the, some machine learning algorithm or the deep learning algorithm, depend on the data, the size and all parts. We implement over there, and we train our, mod, we train our model using this all over the data. And after the training part, we do the, some other stuff also, like if there is some high error, then we try to uh, decrease the error and all over the part, like if the regularization methods and all that will be do. And after the loss of the process, our, we can be designed an intelligent software, which having the human intelligence. Okay, which can perform the similar stuff like a particular human perform. So in this, this is the basic architecture of either deep learning or the machine learning, any part of it. Like first is to collect the data. Once we have a data, then clean the data or to find the, some patterns between the data, how the data is correlated, the, uh, try to do different adjustments over there, understand the, all of the data. Uh, after the extracting the information from our data, now implement the, some machine learning or the deep learning different kind of the algorithms over there and train our models, train our algorithm using this all of the data. And after the training part, if you're getting a very high amount of error, then you can be you can check the error. If the error is very high, then you can be applied in, uh, the, some regularization methods over here to decrease the particular, the level of that particular error. Okay. And then after we have a particular, we can, you can evaluate your model. We have a final trained intelligence model. And then we can do the testing on the, some real time data set. So this is a, similar, a kind of the basic architecture of the machine learning and the deep learning, or you can say the, any kind of the algorithm. Okay. So, Will we do the same part during the demo part also, like during the training part also? First, we will be work on the data set. Then after, we'll work on the, our algorithm. Then after, we'll be work on the, some other steps to uh, minimize the error or to uh, to increase the efficiency with all of accuracy and all. And then after, we'll do the evaluation part. Okay, we'll flow, go into the same part, but to implement this particular part, we should have one particular knowledge of one particular platform or the programming language all over the passing. So for these things will be used a TensorFlow. Okay, this is the design developed by the Google in the 2015. So will we use the TensorFlow and this also supports the Python. So we'll be do that using the Python programming language. Okay, and so we'll be implement this all over the in this particular part and not only the path, uh, TensorFlow, we'll also talk about the Keras API and the Keras uh, uh, deep learning uh, library, Python library, and will be implemented by using that also. So this is the kind of the, into the deep learning, you will get a complete idea, you will be able to uh, design the algorithm, you will be able to means, uh, understand the working process of the, of the each and every module. Even if I talk about the combination neural network, let me give the one basic examples of difference between the machine learning and deep learning part. When we are implementing a machine learning, we first we need to extract the information from our data set and then after we can be implement the machine learning algorithms over there and we can train our model but into the deep learning we do not need to extract the information it will be automatic extract all of our information why because we use a kind of the filters over there in the corner notion we do not need to extract all of our, the patterns and all over the path if you're implementing a simple artificial neural network for better accuracy you need to first extract the information, the data, you need to verify the data, extract the all of our uh, kind of uh, information, and then you can be implement uh, that uh, simple neural network or simple uh, algorithms, machine learning algorithms over there. But if you're using a deep learning, all of the extraction will be the automatic because inside of it, we use some methods, we use some techniques, we use some filters, different, different parts, so that it's automatic, all of the process is more, more. So that is the basic difference between the uh, like uh, machine learning and the deep learning. But sometimes it's not like uh, 
uh, like Python, R programming, you can be used a Python uh, R in the market, both programming language are the very famous. And apart from it, like you can be also, let me give the one idea, like uh, R and Python is the very good and the lots of the library, like great answer for platform. Libraries also support the Python. So we'll be used a Python for it. Okay. And if you have a basic idea about the Python, then it's good. Great. If you don't have, then I will also, I can also cover the some basic concept of the Python also. So you can become the friendly with this particular programming language. Okay. And uh, if you want to cover, if you want to add some more machine learning algorithm apart from the linear and the logistic, so you can also the tell me, I can also add up on the different machine learning algorithm. So once you will be faced with the machine learning, we can also the move on with the deep learning also. Because first for the deep learning, you should have a complete picture about the machine learning algorithm. Okay, then after you can be more on that also. Because sometimes in the industry, you know, as we know that deep learning is give the deep learning algorithm gives a more high accuracy as a compared to the deep machine learning basic uh, algorithm. But it's not like that. Every time we need to implement, we have to, we need to implement the deep learning algorithm. No, for the deep learning, it totally depends on the case. It totally depends on the size of the data, type of the things that you want to perform. That sometimes or most of the times, more than near about to the seventy percent. We use, uh, in, in the industry, we use a machine learning algorithm, but into the some special case, we also require uh, some particular deep learning algorithm, and um, that times we need to use that particular path. Okay, so we'll be using the Python for it, and apart from it, you can also go, go with uh, some cloud platform that where we do not need to do the loss of the programming. It's kind of the track and the job if you have the data, but for that, if you have a basic complete knowledge of the machine learning and then deep learning, what about the different states, how does it work, then without any programming, you can be also do using the some Microsoft Azure platform or the AWS platform, okay, different cloud platform that you can be also use that. But to, to use that particular platform, you should have a complete uh, knowledge about that all of the steps of the particular uh, deep learning or the machine learning, how does it actually work, which kind of data we should use, which kind of the different uh, algorithms and all. You should have complete pictures about that particular path. Then after you can you go with that also. So this is all about that. Okay. And uh, okay. So let me just revise this particular path so the other participants also understand their requirements. Uh, okay. So uh, basically just in, uh, within the stand, within the stand, five minutes, I'll just complete revising all over the path. Okay. So we discussed about the deep learning and the machine learning, what about the difference, and we discussed about the table of content that will be uh, covered during the training program. And uh, from uh, for this, yeah, definitely we'll be go with the all over the practical based the training, but uh, you know, like sometimes the parties, participants ask me, like uh, in the machine learning and the deep learning, which are the implementation or the, of course, like we'll be work on the process, we'll be work on the use cases, and we'll implement this particular part. but. Implementation is very easy. Implementation of anything is not a big deal. To understand their mathematical model, to understand your all of the concept, how does it work? If you are the learning something, you should have a complete picture. The imagination should become in your mind. Then after you will able to process this particular part. Suppose that if I give the very a basic idea about any uh, algorithms, let's take the linear regression. I hope that all of you know this particular algorithm, the basic linear regression, machine learning algorithm. Okay. So you should have a, a complete picture. If you implement our in our data set, then how does it actually work? Which kind of adjunctions require for the linear regression? How the uh, what about the learning process will be over there? How the our, if you train our model, then which kind of the parameter will be updated? So if you have that kind of the picture, have that kind of the knowledge, then you can be able to understand it. And of course, we'll be both the implementation and the practical part also. That is not a, if you are working on that, any kind of the algorithm, will be implement that particular part, and we'll be go with that also. But first, we need to understand that particular model. They have complete, uh, like parameters, different, different formats, and all over the architecture, we should be have a complete knowledge about that. And then only we can be go with the uh, implementation. If I'll show you the implementation, if you're not able to correlate with their mathematical model, there's no any benefit. You can, you will not able to implement with some other unseen data set for you, okay, new data set for you. So that is important part is to understand their mathematics, understand their uh, concept, okay. Okay, fine, that's so, uh, 
let me go give the one uh, basic idea about this and one algorithm here. Okay. Meanwhile, if you have any question to all of the participants, then please let me know. Okay. Uh, you can be send me your query in the chat box. And uh, okay. And apart from the content, like apart from the linear regression, logistic regression, TensorFlow, convolutional neural network, Keras, uh, LSTM, RNN, or, or, or this, uh, apart from it, if you want to add some the different algorithms, then please let me know. If you have them from the special use case that you want to cover during the training program, then see, feel free to discuss with me and also let me uh, 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 share your query also in that regarding. Okay, so now we are talking about the artificial neural network. So artificial neural network is a very um, machine learning algorithm that is based on one brain architecture. But uh, the question is like what happened in the past if we start from the very history, so if the concept started from the preceptron. Like, uh, let me give the one basic idea of correlates with the human body architecture. When we uh, like see cold or when we feel the some cause something, then uh, then suddenly we perform the some action by some using the some sensors. We take uh, some data and using some oscillators we perform the some action. So here, the how does this all of the concept is actually work in the human body? Okay. So in the human, there's a loss of the natural neurons, and all natural neurons is connected is not directly connected. They are sending some data, they are transferring some of the data of one neuron to other neurons, other neurons to the other neurons. And in this particular format, they transfer the, all over the information. Uh, we will also go with the, some small video clip to understand the, all over the architecture. Like here in the given diagram, you can see, I have a two different images, cat and the dog. I want to train my model to recognize a particular image, which is like cat or the dog. Okay. So as we know that the face of the cat and the face of the particular cat, the cat and the dog both are the different. Their features are the different. Okay. So what will we do? That features will be input for us, and the input will be moved in the different different artificial neural network, and in the finally we'll get an output. But how does this all of the concept actually work? That will be under. That will be talk of later when we discuss about the convolutional neural network. But if you are implementing the machine learning algorithm here, then first we need to extract the all over the feature for the backup accuracy. Like uh, first we need to extract the all over. Let me show you one example also. So here you can see in the right hand side, I have a one particular image here. Okay. Now what I want to do, let me uh, show you the all over the path. So here you can see I have uh, some human uh, images like a uh, person when the with the different features. Okay. When the person in the smile uh, face is something smiling, so the uh, features are something are different. When the person in the shop, their features are something are different. Facial expression is a different. Okay. So if we are using if we are using the machine learning algorithm. So which these features are the very important. So you can see in the both the feature of the eyes and the shape of the mouth. That two features are the very important. The shape of the mouth and the eye. When the person in the shop, their uh, shape of the mouth is something of kind of the round and also the eyes. Okay, when the person into the particular, you know, like in the happy, their lips is very something are different. Their structure is something different. So we need to first which two uh, which kind which how many uh, the how many features are very important and how many features that you want to use for training or algorithm. So here we can use the two features. Uh, one is the shape of the mouth and one is the shape of the particular eyes or the eyebrow, because both are the different when the person in the angry or the person in the happy. Now will be extract this feature and now will be use a simple artificial neural network and train our model using this particular feature into the every data set. So this thing we need to do with the machine learning. But when we are implementing the machine, uh, deep learning algorithm, we do not need to do this particular part. We do not need to extract the information from our data set, extract the features from our data set. And then because we use, in that we use some automatic uh, filters, which going to filter the different different kind of the, uh, uh, features and will uh, get a particular output. And, uh, through that we can train our algorithms and we'll get a trained model. 
So that is the basic difference between the deep learning and the machine learning. But the one more thing, for the deep learning, we require a huge amount of the data set. If you don't have that much data set, then you can go with the some uh, machine learning algorithms also, and you can be abstract the uh, features, uh, and then you can be implement uh, some classification or the regression kind of the algorithms over there. But when we talk about the deep learning, first we need to extract the, all of the information of the features that you want to train, that you want to train, or that you want to give your uh, uh, software, and then we can be in, uh, you can be trained that. So that's all about that. Okay, basic difference that is. Okay, so in the what happened like. Uh, uh, let me show you the one small video clip. I think it will be helpful you to understand all about the architecture. So, in how in the actual format, how in the human brain, how the neurons are sending transmitting the data from one neurons to another neurons. We can really go with this small video clip, and it will be give the all over the brief idea about that particular part. So let's go with that. You can see here a fair kind of the things and they are sending us some uh, light data from one to another. All of the spheres are the uh, neurons and they are just transmitting the data from here to here, from one to another, one to another. Okay. And they are not directly in the contact, like they are not directly in touch with each other. There is no any directly contact with them. They are sending us some, transmitting the, some of the data with the, some space. Yeah, uh, definitely. Just uh, okay. That all over the path, like uh, the PPTs and the also like uh, the handouts, the program that will be shared with you during the training program. Okay, if you join over the training, then will be shared with help you under some project also, and will share with you all over the PPT, hand sounds, and all over the different programs uh, like code and all that will be shared with you that. Okay. So here also like uh, we use some architecture like this is the neural, natural neural network, natural neural network, network of natural neurons. So same format to perform that kind of the task, that kind of the intelligence task, we design some network of artificial neurons. Okay, and that network is known as ANN artificial neural network. But in the human kind of, there is a kind of the different kind of architecture so that it start to learn from their experience and all. But here we use some mathematical model to perform that particular task. Because when we say human can learn that, but when we say that oh, how 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 can we give the learning process to our algorithm? By using some mathematical model. By using some mathematics, some kind of the mathematical models that will be used that and will put our data over there. Data means kind of the information that you want to train our model, that you want to give to our model will be trained that and it will be start to learn from it. Okay. So that is all of our basic concept of the machine learning and the deep learning part. Okay. So that is that uh, all over the part and uh, okay. So I hope is it fine to understand. Uh, I hope uh, all of you will be able to understand the basic difference between the machine learning and the deep learning and the basic architecture of the artificial neural network. There are also there are too many things inside of it like a feed for network back propagation different uh, uh, methods, their mathematical models. So will not any do, during the training program, will not do any kind of the hypothesis, we just uh, say you, you, this is our model. Will we understand each and every process of the mathematical model? I prefer and the pain. You're able to solve the, all over the mathematics. Okay, you're able to solve the, I will show you all over the mathematics behind the paper and the pain, all over the model will be trained. I'll be implementing the two or three data sets. Um, you'll be able to see that. Uh, now yes, our model is actually uh, uh, learning by using this mathematics or this kind of model. So that is all about that. Will be do that. Okay. So please let me know. Okay, I'm done with from my side in the basic things in the basic architecture. So please let me know if you have any question or if you want to add some points. If you have any any basic question, any query related to this particular part so forth, please let me know. You can send me your query from the chat box also. Yeah, hi, please.
Yeah, Mr. Flanders, please check them, you know. Like, it's, it's not like that. It's totally depend on the, the data set and the kind of the problem that you want to solve it. Suppose, let me give the example of it. Suppose that you, you want to just classify the two different, uh, classify the particular images, okay. Now, for this particular part, you can be also use a machine learning and for this particular part, you can be also use the deep learning part. But, how many features that you want to use? Suppose that you are using more than uh, 100 features, you will be using more than 100 features to classify the two different images. Now, in the, if you use more than 100 features, so it becomes very complicated for the normal algorithm. It will be not able, it, it will be taking the too much time, the powers and all, not able, able to handle with this particular normal uh, machine learning algorithm. So then after will be go with the deep learning algorithm. But also in the deep learning, your machine, your laptop, your computer specifications should be very high, okay, for the process. At least we, we use a GPU based system, like NVIDIA GPU that we use for that. Okay, so it so totally depends on the kind of the data set, features of the data set, and type of the problem, and use that. It's not something like a separate, if this is thing that will be used, or deep learning, if this thing that will use the machine learning part. It's totally kind of the data set that you use. Okay, please let me know other parts, other participants, or if you have so far, if you have any questions related to the demo or related to the training part. So please let me know. We'll be shared with you all of the TOC, the table of content. Uh, we'll be shared with you the table of content and all parts. You can be also go with that. Okay. And uh, if you want to add some use, special use case that you want to learn or if you want to add some machine learning algorithm, basic algorithm, if you don't have much more experience with the machine learning. So you can be also let us know and we can be add that particular point here also. Uh, don't keep any doubt. If you have any question, any single doubt, then please let me know regarding to this particular part. And the, all of the uh, the training part will be with the uh, practicals. Like uh, first will be understand the complete model, mathematical model. I'm talking about the mathematical model. You will be able to uh, design. You will able to uh, design the, all of the architecture in your mind. Okay. And so far that will be do that. And also will be understand the machine learning. Sorry, TensorFlow and the Keras library also and according to that will be the robotic arms which use the computer vision how it works yeah and basically in the computer vision what happened uh, in the computer visions we also use the, some uh, uh, like uh, uh, we work on the mostly on the uh, like images or the videos we also use some particular uh, kind of what is called uh, image processing and the like on initial neural network we extract the information we need to understand actually what happened into the machine learning and the deep learning part first you need to uh, work on the different kind of the data set sometimes we have a data set into the image format sometimes we have a data into the uh, only the numerical format sometimes in the string format then how to work on the different or like mp3 format like how to work on the different different you need to understand if you uh, in the robotics arms, mostly we work on the actuators like servo, okay, and as an actuator like as a servo and images as the input data like our uh, it's maybe any kind of the normal images. Then after we use a computer vision machine vision, we use a normal uh, a, uh, kind of uh, image processing over there. In the different type of the image processing, combination neural network. If you want to uh, train your model, then we use some algorithms also. And accordingly, we also implement the servo. We give the output. Okay. It's depending in your task. Let me give the example of it. Suppose that if you have one particular robotic arm, and in that they, we use a, some camera. This camera will be detect a particular in, input or the data. Once the data that have a, if the data will be moved on the, our model, and what you want to do that when, when this particular data, when this particular kind of the input will become. According to that, will be train our model and it will be produce some output from the actuator. From the actuator. And from the actuator, the robotics arm will be moved. Actually, in the uh, particular uh, robotics arm, what happened is we use a different servo, like into the KUKA. Now, it's like if I talk about the robotics arm, there's a top company, manufacturer company like KUKA, Hanuk, ABB. Now, they are also using the artificial intelligence for building, for prepare the different kind of the applications uh, using the deep learning and the computer and machine regions over there. Like it totally depends on the uh, the case and all the what which kind of the action that you want to perform. That we uh, we take our data, we train models in every pattern. 
this is the remain same. If when we are talking, when we, whenever will we talk about the AI, data, train the model, then after evaluations, the testing the model, this all of the path, this pattern will be remain same. Maybe the data will be the different. Maybe the format of the data will be the different. Maybe the action that we want to perform, which will be the different. Now, let me give one more example of it. Now, in India also, like uh, every person, most of the airports and also like Bangalore, or they started to use the AI-based uh, uh, smart uh, camera. In the smart camera, what happened in India, like uh, governments having the other part, all of the data sets, most of the data sets, all of the uh, people's data. So what they are doing that they are just implementing, uh, they are designing the smart camera, intelligent camera, which able to recognize a particular faces. So what happened nowadays when the person is going to into the airport, they need, they have a particular boarding pass and all. Now the camera will be detect the face and face on it will be their entry card for the airport that particular their face and all. So the cam the smart camera they are having the all over the data the train models. Okay, the camera will be detect the features of that particular person and according to that it will be recognize the particular compare with the stickers and all the other details. So they're starting the government also the working in this particular area and also the, to finding the criminals. To finding the criminals also they are implementing this particular part into the Andhra Pradesh and also the Delhi. So this is all about that. So let, please let me know if you have any questions. So is it fine for all of you? I guess uh, everyone is uh, good to go and uh, thank you for your time Ashish. And okay. uh, then thank you to all of you. Have a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you, audience. And if you have any issues, have any queries, please reach us, or you can uh, drop a mail at info at the rate IGM Guru. I also uh, text you in the chat. And uh, if you have, uh, if you want to contact us, so there's a number that also I shared. Please check the chat, and uh, you can reach us anytime. Thank you. Have a good.